friends, such joy to study God's word together with you. Uh, we're talking about walking in power, and today we will look at God's word as the key to power in our lives. John chapter 15 is a beautiful passage where we are invited to have an intimate relationship with God, to abide with Him, to dwell with Him, and to receive of His goodness from that place of closeness, that place of fellowship. Uh, let me read for us from John chapter 15, verse 3, and then verses 7 and 8. Verse 3, it says, you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Verse 7 and 8 If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. So lots of promises in those three verses for us. Verse 3 gives us the promise of a transformed life. So as we spend time in God's word and God's word comes to dwell inside us, we are told that there is a property of God's word. Now God's word carries the power to make us clean. So as we hear his word, as we uh, take his word in, we can expect to change for the better. We can expect to grow in the virtues um, of God's nature. We can expect to become more like Jesus and God's word will do this for us or uh, I should say applying God's word will do this for us. So we have the promise of transformation through God's word. And as we go further in verse 7, we see as God's word abides in us, we will ask what we desire and it will be done for us. So that is a promise of answered prayer. How can a believer walk in answered prayer? When we pray prayers in accordance to the will of God. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 also talks about this. That we should pray prayers in accordance to the word of God. Because the word of God is the will of God. And when we ask for what is in the will of God, we will receive those answers and therefore our prayer life will be effective. So we can walk powerfully in our prayer life when we have the word inside us. Now let's look at verse 8 here. It says, By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. So here's the third promise. Here is the promise of being fruitful uh, when God's word lives inside us. Uh, and that's what you know we want from our lives. We want to be fruitful. We want to be um, you know, uh, doing what God wanted us to do, do it passionately, do it well, uh, bring glory to His name, honor to His name, be a blessing to the people. And here is God's word exhorting us and telling us, you will be that kind of a disciple who will make a difference, who will make an impact when the word of God dwells in you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the power of your word that, Lord, it transforms us, God, that, um, Lord, it helps us understand your will, and God, that it makes us fruitful. Help us to walk in all of this, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.